I've been dealing with stability track issues ever since the truck had 31,000 miles on it. And I've taken it to three dealerships and they don't have any idea. They said they say there are no any codes in it. Um, back a little while back, back about three weeks ago, I took it to a friend's house and he had a scanner, a scan tool, and we plugged into it and it had all kind of low voltage codes and we did we come up with I have one battery that was completely bad and another battery that was really weak so I um, changed out put new batteries in it and it did great for about I don't know probably 5,000 miles 4,500 5,000 miles and it started back and when it started back it came back with a vengeance and pretty much not every time, but most of the time when it comes on, it kicks the cruise control off. And I'm just curious if anybody's got anything, any ideas on what I can check. I've already checked the grounds up behind the speaker on each side, and they were good. I, like I said, I replaced the batteries. I did check the grounds there. I see it just kicked my cruise off. Um, I've, that, that's been about it. But I've been Googling it and looking at different things or we can kick the curries off again. And I'm headed to Texas right now for pulling a 43 foot trailer. And uh, it's just not a lot of fun. And I'm really off taking it back to a dealership because they just really don't seem like they want to mess with it. Because I know the codes were in there when they looked at it, you know, and they didn't even bring up anything about it. They said there was no codes. But I just figured, I know there's a lot of stability track videos on here and I was just hoping someone is a 2018 Chevrolet 2500 HD LTZ with the Durapanx and I was just hoping someone else may have have some insight for me thank you